are you guys all in the same area? Are you guys throughout the country home free? Um, like meaning like do you guys all live sporadically throughout the country? Do you guys all live in Nashville? Uh, no, we're all over. Two of us are in Nashville. Two of us are up in Minnesota, which is uh, where the band started. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, we've got one in LA these days. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so when the pandemic hit, the first thing we did was um, pivot to like full time recording and uh, video releases, um, which was something we already did aggressively anyway, which we're, uh, we're fortunate to have established that business model before mm. the pandemic because uh, it was already in place. You know, we just like pivoted to focusing on that full time because it was all we could do. Yeah. Um, but the first thing we did was get home recording equipment, which is like what I'm using. Like I didn't have this a year ago. Um, our producer. It probably there. took six months to get to you anyway, to, with all the delays. Sweetwater <laughs> still doing two <laughs> two day delivery. Wow! Um, Throughout the whole pandemic, because that's funny. Because there there was this, everybody needed all that stuff, so it was just like, oh, that's funny, man. Yeah, that's funny. Um, but our <laughs> producer Darren Rust, um, who's uniquely qualified to to do what we need him to do, um, he just advised us. He was like, "Listen, if I were you, I'd get this Slate modeling mic because it's unbelievably versatile." You um, like it. I've been looking at that. I like know it? nothing about this stuff. I do <laughs> like it because he's happy, but I get to watch him get excited about it almost every time we have a session. That's interesting. And we've been using it for a year now. But the fact that we have one mic that works for all of our voices is pretty incredible. Um, and that's the yeah. whole the whole idea behind a modeling mic is you can say, okay, exactly. now I want you to act like this kind of mic. Now I want you to act like this kind of mic. So um, all, of, uh, all you guys bought that Slate Digital? Uh, the three of us who aren't in Minnesota did. So, uh, our producers in Minnesota, so our, the Minnesota guys, well, one of them goes to his studio. The other one is the beatboxer and he does all his stuff at home anyway. Um, Interesting. But the rest of us who all had to collaborate remotely got this stuff. And then we also got software that allows our producer to run the session from his studio. Um, nice. Okay. So I just go in my closet, which I've retrofitted to be like a vocal booth, <laughs> aka hung up some blankets and stuff. hundred percent. hundred percent, man. And then uh, I turn on the computer, and then it starts moving on its own. And he, it's wow, that's fascinating. Everything. It's wonderful. Um, you know, and then for those of y'all who are listening who don't know, um, typically when you're tracking a vocal, you're in a studio. But you're in a separate room from the producer anyway yeah. he's like in the control room and you're usually in a little vocal booth and you really only communicate through the microphone and headphones anyway so this style of recording isn't that dissimilar i'm just in my closet but we're still communicating through this equipment uh i just can't look through a window and see him um but otherwise, you know, it's I just get to record my underwear, which is wonderful. <laughs> I found out they frown on that in the major studios. Yeah. Oh, you had to learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny, man.